I'm going to talk to you about Bixby, which is an intelligent, personalized voice assistant for your phone. What's unique about Bixby is that you can seamlessly switch between voice and type and touch. Bixby supports more than 75 domains. Domains such as WhatsApp, Gallery, Messages, YouTube, etc. Bixby was launched in July 2017 and is now available in more than 200 countries with more than 10 million active users. The talk focuses on using deep learning for Bixby, uh, Bixby ASR, which is automatic speech recognition, and Bixby NLU, which is natural language understanding. I talk about RNNs versus CNNs, how we experimented with both RNNs and CNNs, with character-based models and word-based models, and also domain classification, because figuring out the right domain uh, was not an easy task, given the massive contextual space. So the massive input space was very, very heavy, and uh, we had to find the right model in real time, find the right domain in real time, which was not very easy. So I talk about that. I talk about uh, grammar complexity. I talk about multimodal and multi-accent handling. And I will also go into uh, details of hierarchical classification and session-based classification. Because classification was the hardest job. Classification means figuring out the right domain. And once we figure out the right domain, then we can figure out the right intent and, and get the right tags, etc., from the utterance. So I'm going to talk about that, as well as I'm going to talk about how we made some optimizations, such as intent rejection logic in the intent models. So Bixby was a sequence of various models. Basically, they're all machine learning models. So in the ASR, there's an acoustic model and there's a language model. And in the NLU, you know, we have a domain classifier, which is a model, and then we have the, um, basically we have a sequence of models. So in the ASR, we have an acoustic model and we have a language model. And in the NLU, we have a domain classification model, uh, we have an intent model, and then we have a title model. So I'm gonna talk about all how these models all work in a sequence. And I'm also gonna talk about the various trade-offs between RNNs and CNNs, optimal filter sizes in CNNs, and handling variations of data and conflicts of data, and so on. Because of the massive contextual input space, because there is, you know, in this case, you can speak the utterance from pretty much anywhere uh, in the user's journey, not from like in Siri, Cortana, etc. You have to go and invoke Siri and then you can speak something here in Bixby. You can be in any, any app and you can be anywhere in the app journey and you can still invoke Bixby and it will still work. So therefore, uh, it's very com makes it very complex, right? So I'm gonna talk about all of that. Also, I'm gonna talk about an interesting application of transfer learning in Bixby for Hindi because we also experimented with Bixby for Hindi. We, although we launched only in English, but we are also working with Bixby for Hindi. I'm going to talk about transfer learning as well as bilingual models, both English and Hindi models.